Samsung's Galaxy S23 range of smartphones is here. I've been playing around with the S23 Plus for a few weeks, so for today, let's get into some thoughts, impressions, and whether or not this is a phone that you should be buying. <laughs> Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. And for today, we get into a review of the Galaxy S23 Plus. This is basically the middle child um, in the S23 range, um, fitting in between the S23 and the S23 Ultra. And today, we get into some impressions uh, from the view of a Samsung user. As always, this uh, video is brought to you by the team over at Lion Media. Uh, head on over to check out some of the crispiest uh photo video and audio content that's www.lionmedia.com head on over uh check it out and just see uh what the team can do for you so as I said, this will be a review um, of the Galaxy S23 Plus coming from someone who has been rocking an older Samsung device. I also asked uh, questions uh, on Instagram as to what people want to know about the S23 Plus and I'll be incorporating that as we go along. So I had the pleasure and the privilege of being at the S23 launch a couple of weeks ago uh, that Samsung hosted in Johannesburg. And I have to say that this has been a solid um, upgrade across the board. A bit boring and I think that's actually the strength um, of this set of devices because Samsung appears to have found their formula and they have uh, refined and perfected um, on last year's design. If you even look at uh, the phones, um, some people would find it hard to actually distinguish um, between the S22 and the S23 and I think uh, that's a pretty good thing right now. The this is definitely an evolution as opposed to being a revolution. As I said, I've been a Samsung Galaxy user for a number of years now. I started off with the S8 a couple of years ago, and now I am rocking the Galaxy S10 Plus uh, from 2019 as my daily driver. So most of my comparisons are with the S10 because that's what I have, and also at the same time with, uh, with an iPhone because um, those are the decisions that a lot of people are making you know do you get something like the s23 or do you go on the side of ios one of the biggest questions that i kept receiving about the s23 was around the camera and uh, interestingly enough that is what samsung is focusing on with the s23 range more than half of the presentation or the keynote um, on launch day was around the camera they spent little time you know talking about the screen and the battery yes they did mention but a lot of the time was spent the bulk of it um, on the camera particularly on the s23 ultra which now features a 200 megapixel uh, main shooter the S23 Plus that we have here has an impressive camera array of its own 50 megapixel main shooter as well as a 12 megapixel ultra wide 10 megapixel um, telephoto and then a 12 megapixel camera um, on the front. And I'll say that this has been a really great camera and very impressive when you look at the video side, which is something that I'm concerned about shooting up to 8K um, at uh, 30 frames per second and then in 4K up to 60 uh, frames per second and even on the front shooter you also get up to 4k at 60 frames per second the interface is quite snappy when you are trying to take a photo or a video and i would say it's producing really great quality images and uh, great quality video i was able to test it out in a number of uh, different uh, conditions and i would say my biggest impression comes from low light performance I work in a studio setting in the evening and uh, you tend to have really bad, uh, you know, type of images that come out at that time of the day. But with the S23 Plus, it was really great. So I was very happy from that point of view. You can also shoot raw images using a special app um, that you download called Expert Raw and that allows you to get um, raw images from the camera and then you can edit them for yourselves uh, in programs such as Lightroom. There's improved stabilization now for video which is definitely a good thing uh, but at least for now I would say that uh, I'm still biased towards uh, video that is 
is coming out from uh, iPhones uh, simply because I think they still have a slight edge and I call it a slight edge because um, Samsung has really done a great job um, with this camera on the, the video side. In my testing I did notice uh, that the iPhone 12 Pro Max that I was using um, as a comparison was able to snap photos ever so slightly faster um, than the S23 Plus. It's barely noticeable if you're not looking for it but I'll try to show it on camera. So overall, I'd give uh, the camera system an 8 out of 10 uh, simply because I said it's a really great camera set. But um, when you're looking at the S23 range, you still have that ultra um, that will take things up a notch. The second thing that people were particularly interested to know about the S23 Plus is how it performs in terms of battery. And in my testing, I would say that it's been a pretty good experience so far. I tried by all means to do most of my tasks with the exception um, of uh, one or two sensitive tasks, you know, with the S23 Plus, and I was really getting great battery life. Um, this one now offers a 4,700 milliamp hour battery, which is an upgrade uh, from the 4,000 500 that was on the S22 Plus uh, from last year. It features wireless charging and also has uh, the latest chipset from Qualcomm that is the Snapdragon uh, 8th Gen 2, um, which means you have all those efficiency gains that also help to drive the battery as well. So because of that, on the battery front, we're giving it an 8 out of 10. In terms of build quality, I would say that this is excellent. Since I have uh, the S10 Plus, I've always enjoyed the build quality on this, but I can definitely say that the S23 um, is a huge step up now when it comes to that build quality. I was talking to my friend Titch recently, and he uses a Galaxy device as well, a Note. And uh, I remember when I gave it to him, him he said this thing really feels like an iphone and that is this that is the same impression that i got you have a glass on the front you've got glass on the back and then you've got those flat sides as well Build quality, we definitely give a 9 out of 10. However, I would say that for me personally, I prefer the rounded edges um, on the S10 um, series as opposed to the S23's flat sides. I just found that it was uh, a bit hard uh, for me to get used to. You sort of feel like it's uh, digging a little bit, um, you know, into the palms of your hand, and that's just me. In terms of display, it's an easy 10 out of 10. Um, consuming content, browsing the web, uh, simply scrolling through apps is excellent uh, on something like this. There's no doubt that Samsung um, is second to none when it comes to display tech in the game. So much so that Apple has been using uh, Samsung's uh, displays in its iPhones for a number of years now. And uh, in this particular case with the S23, it's made even better with high refresh rate that goes up to 120 hertz. This category I'm calling everyday use and livability. Uh, basically, some of the things that people should be considering on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis when using a particular device. Two questions that arose, shout out uh, to the homie Gwinch, is firstly, um, boot up time, right? I was actually able to test the boot up time uh, with a couple of devices that I have here, the S10 Plus, um, as well as the iPhone and uh, the Galaxy S23. And obviously, um, the Galaxy S23 was able to boot up much quicker uh, than the other phones. The other question was about how quickly the phone takes to actually wake up. And I would say that this is really snappy. Uh, because it uses an under display uh, fingerprint scanner. I've always thought that the S10, which was the first uh, implementation from Samsung to have this, um, was really fast, but they've improved that. And you can see just how much faster um, uh, this particular phone is. So it goes really quickly um, using the, the fingerprint, but if you don't have that enabled, very fast. A couple of other things. Firstly, this uh, fits quite well into a lot of pockets. I've used it with trousers, jeans, as well as shorts. Secondly, uh, call quality is really good. Um, you know, for people that are taking calls, you know, people still use phones for calls, and I'd say this is great for that. And then thirdly, the speakers that come on the device themselves, you know, are really great. They produce a nice, rich sound. 
I've quite liked and enjoyed Samsung's uh, software that is One UI, um, which they have running on top of Android for a number of years now. And this is an evolution and improvement of that with One UI 5. Of particular interest to me in testing out this phone was SwiftKey, uh, which is an alternative keyboard for typing. Uh, the Galaxy Wearables app, um, which is which I was using uh, with the wireless uh, Buds 2 Pro, as well as uh, the battery widget um, which I raved about when we were talking about AirPods and it's nice to see an implementation over on Android. So that's an 8 out of 10 when it comes to livability and uh, moving on to quirks for me there were two big ones. Uh, the first one you know is uh, I still find it jarring um, using phones that don't have a headphone jack. I know that it's been years now um, since that was taken off for a number of phones. The S10 Plus is actually the last Galaxy device uh, that uh, had the headphone uh, in terms of uh, Galaxy ranges so it's been quite an interesting one but at least the Buds 2 Pro that I've been using you know are quite excellent and then secondly this is just something I noticed on the back of the S23 it has its IMEA number on the back of the phone most of the time um, with some of these phones you have to look inside the software um, you know to see that and then secondly there's a PO box address on the back of this device i'm yet to actually check what that address leads to but i've just found it interesting in terms of pricing this is definitely premium i'm going to leave uh, links in the description around our uh, pricing and availability interestingly i had a conversation with the head of uh, samsung mobile in south africa a couple of weeks ago and it was very fascinating to note uh, that the fastest growing segment uh, for Samsung when it comes to sales of devices is, um, you know, in the premium segment. So despite um, consumer pressure, the biggest growth that they are seeing is in those premium uh, devices such as um, your Galaxy S range um, and the like. As always, we have to answer the question of uh, who is a device like this for? And I can certainly say that I could recommend this to most people. People. If you're a person who's coming from iOS and looking for a solid um, Android device, this is definitely there um, in the pick. If you're coming from a competing Android device, this will be a solid choice. And then uh, for casual users that just want a phone that works, this is it. And then for people that are into content creation, um, you know, when it comes to maybe social media content and the like, this is also a great choice. So overall, we get a 43 out of 50, uh, rounding up all the scores uh, that uh, we were tallying up, um, which brings it down to an 8.6 out of 10. Um, I remember saying to someone for a question that came in um, on Instagram that uh, I would say that in the Android world, this is a good phone to default to. Simple not too many changes something that just works and i'll say that is the theme um, when it comes to the s23 range it's something that just works evolution over revolution and i think uh, samsung has got themselves a great set of devices uh, for 2023 and it's likely uh, these will be the go-to devices that people will be comparing every other android device that comes out uh, through the year around you guys can let me know what you think. Are you going to be buying uh, the S23 um, or are you going for something else? Do you think that this is uh, worth um, you know, coming into if you have an S22 um, or do you feel like it's more for people that have an older device? If you're on the iOS side, are you feeling tempted? You guys can let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey, this is Baby G and you're watching the Mob Justice channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Live it, love it, like it. This is the Mob Justice TV.